Hey, this is Professor Perez. Today, we are going to do digits and place value, part one. But before we get started, we need our student volunteer of the semester, and that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, quit fooling around. It's time for class. Let's get started right there. Digits. Now, Charlie, how many digits are there? Nine. There's 10 digits, Charlie. Don't forget the zero. So what are the digits? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very nice there, Charlie. Digits are just symbols, and we use those symbols to form numbers. Now, the position of a digit in a number determines its place value. So let's write this number up here. And Charlie, watch the pattern that occurs with place values. We start with the ones, just to the left of the decimal. So we have ones, tens, hundreds. And we move over to what we call the next period, and the pattern repeats. Ones, tens, hundreds, but it's thousands, right? The next period is the millions, and notice it goes 1 million, 10 million, 100 million. After the millions is the billions, and then the trillions, and then the quadrillions, and you can look up the rest. All right, Charlie, so let's talk about the periods. Let's define each period in the number right there. The first period is called the ones period. Then we have the thousands period. Then we have the millions period. Then we have the billions period. And after that becomes the trillions period, right? All right, Charlie, so now that we know the periods, we can read the number correctly. And here we go. 34 trillion, 436 billion, 781 million, 525,000, 372. Notice we do not use the word and. We will use the word and when we start connecting decimals or fractional parts to our whole numbers. Now, here is a word, a number written as a word statement, and now let's write the number using digits. 52 trillion, 105 billion, 63 million. Now notice before the six we put a zero because we must have three digits within each period except for the first period. 438,502. There we go. Let's try another one. Three billion. Now notice here we do not have any millions but we still have to represent that period using three zeros. So we have zero millions. But we do have 2,000. Notice that we put two zeros in front of the two because we have to have three digits within each period, except for the first one, remember. And then we have three for our last period in our ones period. There we go. All right, Charlie, now, writing numbers in expanded form. Writing numbers in expanded form help us remember place value, and expanded forms of numbers will be useful later on in the semester when we start doing arithmetic calculations, okay? so. Let's look at the number 13. That has a 1 in the tens place, so we have 110 and we have three ones. So 10 plus 3 is the expanded form representation of the number 13. 856. We have eight hundreds, five tens, and six ones. With the number 1307, we have one one thousand, we have three hundreds, we have zero tens, and we have seven ones. Oh, what fun! Let's do another one. 105,408. We have one 100,000. Notice we have zero of the 10,000, so we put a zero as a placeholder there. We have five 1,000s, and that completes our thousands period. Then we go to the next one, which is four hundreds, so we write 400. We have zero tens, so we'll put a zero to represent that place value, and we have eight ones, and so we write plus 8. So there's the expanded form for 105,408. And that completes part 1 of digits and place value. We'll come back very soon for part 2. See you again soon.